Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Uh, Napoverse. Cross Xenoverse. Napaverse. Yeah, Napoverse. Oh, I was just thinking Napaverse. Right I was thinking of Napaverse. You're not napping, you're meditating. <laughs> I am napping. Okay, so. Meditating! Last time we completed the Beerus arc, which has opened up for us a fair number more parallel quests. Five here specifically, as well as one more from an NPC in town. I don't know if completing 44 will unlock 45 for us or not, but I'm leaning towards not. But with that said, we're going into 39, the Cell Games Continued. Let's see, you're a whole lot- oh man, you get all the fighting poses for this one. Alright, well, we just get to go beat up everybody. Good going. Uh, the hidden condition for this one is defeat Videl and Piccolo before Gohan. The Cell Games continued. Time was not enough. Defeat Gohan, Videl, and Piccolo, but we're gonna have to fight some other guys first. Like Goldo. Namely, Goldo. Where the heck did he hide all of crazy power? Thanks for the energy, dickweed. Honestly, Goldo, I don't know if there's much you can do. You're Goldo. He can stop time. He's the Yamcha of the Ginyu Force. Everybody's gotta have a Yamcha. Damn it! How could I be having trouble against trash like this? And there's the rest of the Ginyu Force. Hi, Jason. So I guess I got Rick in. Unless I just hit everyone. Yeah, you hit most everybody with that. Okay, Jace is down. Birders effectively down. Like somebody just punch him. Recoom! They can even still. And he's down. I'm I'm Rakum and stuff. Hey, it's time for a little game. Okay, who am I fighting? Seventeen. Seventeen sounds good. Missed everybody. Nothing new there. Hey, rude. You know, just for that. Not entirely sure what happened there. I'm a little confused. I just oh, the whole planet again. I mean, it happens. Ah, uh, she's doing her thing. Oh no, I got hit. Oh no. Hold 17 okay, still for a second. Sixteen. Man, leave me alone. Uh, don't think I'll lose that easily. I'm getting punched by people. I'm pretty sure while they're getting hit by something, I can't hit them with Innocence Cannon. It just disappears sometimes. I don't understand this attack at all. Oh my gosh, 17, can you like, just... Like, what the crap? It just goes please. away. Make fun of me! I'll make fun of you all I want, 17. You and your stupid perk. Bye, 18! <laughs> nice knowing you. <laughs> wow. Oh, and she this. bounced too. Yeah. She just dropped like a fly. I'll 
I'll join in on the fight. Okay, so this is the final one, and we have to effectively kill Gohan last. So take out Videl and Piccolo first. I'll just keep going. With it. So strong. Oh my goodness. I wish I mean I'm just gonna keep going. With it. Piccolo, go sit down somewhere. Go so on, just sit down. Watch your friends die. Gohan, go away. Gohan, your fight's with me. Of course he moved. Seems like my skills aren't what they used to be. Ow, 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 ow. My goodness, there's so much crapping and hitting everyone. I can't bloody hit anybody. Go on, just stay down, watch your friend die. Now we're talking. This is starting to get interesting. Here. Where's the power coming from? Okay, go on, lock on to me. Hi, go on. Go on, lock on to me. Stand down. Go on, go away. Go on. Too strong. <laughs> well, I just murdered the shit out of. Hey, what the crap? It said finish. You're not allowed to punch me. Is now. Oh, got a big old beam right in your face there, so how's how's that working out for you? We can't let Cell take the big beams. Yeah, now, um, we had to defeat Videl and Piccolo before Gohan, so Gohan would go into his ultimate form. We now have to make sure Cell doesn't die, because that will also end this mission. You can die really fast. All it takes is one good Kamehameha to the face, and that's about it for Cell. Just like in the actual series. Kinda weird how that works out. You know, I'm fairly confident while you're hitting him with that genocide beam, I can't hurt him. Oh, excuse me, it's called Assault Rain. It's where I rain down the assault on everyone. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe there's like a very brief invulnerability period and that just hits them so fast that... You can't hit them with anything else while they're getting hit by it. Can't lose here. Yay, we did it! Yay! Yay! Alright, I suppose you pass. Got Supreme Kai's feet, and I got another fighting pose. <laughs> I didn't get Jack. I got this old thing. Okay, with that one done... Oh boy, we've got people in the chat talking again. Next up is... 41, Freeze's Nightmare Returns. That's a lot of guys. A distortion in time made a crowd of Majins stand in front of Frieza. On top of that, the Golden Saiyan warriors have gathered too. Protect Frieza from the Saiyans! Now, of course, for those of you who recall, Frieza was told to avoid two people, one of which were the Majins, and the, or specifically Boo, and he also then knew the legend of the Super Saiyan and was terrified of that. So, gonna be a good day for Frieza. And just some fun trivia, the other uh, person Frieza was told to avoid is Beerus. Hidden Condition 1, defeat Gotenks before Vegito. Defeat all enemies. You know what? How about you defeat all enemies? Well, what do you mean all? Yeah, we'll How many enemies watch. are there? How do you know what's an enemy and what's not? There aren't there just going to be a whole lot of them? Freaking Boo and his evasion? Yeah, I really hate Boo's evasion. Hey! Freaking Boo and his evasion? Fate this, Boo. I'm not here to fight, Super Boo. I'm here to kill you. 
Okay, you know what? I've got... With your own ability. How does that shit feel? Ah, uh, he's doing his ultimate. Oh dear! Did he eat you? I got a key bar in there no, somewhere. No, just a little pink thing. Darn it, Boo, quit bouncing around like a loon. Oh, my balls! No, no, the next few balls. I'm tired of your crap, Boo. Real tired of your crap, Boo. Yeah, he's doing a thing. I think I'm also lagging pretty hard, so that's great news. Freaking boo. <laughs> Any idea how annoying it is that you're constantly either doing your ultimate or your evasion? There. No more evasion. Yes, Bill, you lost. New enemy. Ah, it's Kid Boo. All right, Naka, you got this. Uh, a couple of people in the comments were actually talking about the fact that um, technically Super Boo is more powerful than Kid Boo. And he is. Like, he's more powerful, he's smarter than Kid yeah, Boo. The only Boo. real thing Kid Boo's got for him is unpredictability. Yeah, Kid Boo is the most dangerous because he's the most insane, but he's Super Boo is strong. He has no self self preservation. Yeah. But Super Boo is stronger considering Goku didn't even want to fight Super Boo. And yeah, he was able to take Super Boo at Super Saiyan 3. Oh, Kid Boo at Super Saiyan 3. Yay, the Boos are dead. That's bad so really for the me, only isn't ones, it? The only ones who were able to match Super Boo were Gotenks and Gohan. Speaking of which... Hi, Gotenks, buddy, pal. Let's kick it. Let's, let's beat him up. A lot of things. Really. At this point, I'm not even sure we need a reason anymore. <laughs> or a specific Just reason you anyway. Exist. Your go tanks. That's that's probably. That's reason enough. Well, I guess I gotta keep Vegito off of Frieza. Oh, fair. Oh point. yeah, Frieza's here. We kind of have to keep him alive. Hi, go tanks. Go tanks is dead. Tanks. I kicked Vegito in the stomach, so. He's... Warning! And Vegito oh, went no. Super Saiyan. He is Super Vegito. Oh no. He is now Vegito, but Super. And I'm pretty so sure Super Saiyan super Vegito better. before the. before uh, Battle of the Gods, anyway. Super Saiyan Vegito was the strongest. Oh, dang it, Go Tanks. Man. You can't just go Super Saiyan, that's not how that works. Or Super Saiyan 3, that's not how that works. Apparently he can, because he's Gotenks. Like, to do- didn't they have to, like, fuse as Super Saiyans in order to do that? Uh, no. They- when they train in the time chamber, they basically learn how to turn Super Saiyan without go, without fusing as Super Saiyans. I mean, like, for um, Gotenks to go Super Saiyan 3. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Crap. It's actually funny. Uh, Elder Kai says that if uh, Man, it just Vegeta disappears and sometimes. Goku had actually, stayed, had actually been Super Saiyan before they fused, Vegeta would have been even stronger. Interesting. I imagine Vegeta would have been some kind of, like, permanent Super Saiyan. Though it, I imagine it would have done something else, like shorten his lifespan, since Super Saiyan's constantly draining your reserves. 
Well, by that time, weren't they? Uh, well, I'm not sure about Vegeta, but I know by that time, like Goku, his, his normal Super Saiyan form, he trained it to the point where it's like almost natural for him. Man. Ah, and it just disappears sometimes. This move is so glitchy. Like, what the crap? What? No, really. What the crap is up with this ability? It's, it's like they don't it's want me to have any fun. This game is anti-fun. Considering it has Super Saiyan Garden Sale, yes. <laughs> Like, no, really, it just... Point blank. Went through him. <laughs> and then it took his corpse. <laughs> Do you have to use it point blank? Because I've shot it out before without it hitting anybody. Alright, I suppose you pass. Man, I got nothing from that. Oh man, I'm so close to leveling up. Okay, so what do we got? That was two of the, I believe, six. Which will leave us with potentially four or five left. So I think I'm actually going to call it here. If I knew for a fact there was only four left, I'd say we do one more, but I don't. So I'm going to say we call it here, and just kind of, well, I guess in the future we'll see if there is that up, that last one. So until next time, everyone, we've still got a couple more of these to go.